Hi there, welcome to CodeCuts, a show that's about getting all the TV you want without a pay TV subscription. And on this CodeCutters quick tip, we're going to show you how to make better use of your BoxyBox with the BoxyBox remote control for iPhone and iPod Touch. So I like the BoxyBox, it's personally one of my favorite devices because it has a full browser built in, which means you can go to websites like this one, Gigom TV, and watch all of our videos there. The one downside it has had is this remote control it's kind of nice, it looks great and everything, but it only has a D-pad, which means when you navigate on there, uh, as you can see here, the mouse uh, pointer kind of moves in a square fashion. I like to say it's a little bit like playing etch -a sketch with one hand. You can only move Y and X axis, and you can't really reach everything, and it's very painful to actually navigate, and especially when you have to click on smaller buttons, it's no fun. Well, Boxy just solved this problem by bringing a, a new application to the iPod or updating the iPod or iPhone remote control essentially. And we're going to show you how this works. So Boxy now solved this by updating the iPhone and iPod touch application, which is essentially a remote control. And now it has a full touchpad. So if you look at the mouse pointer here on your screen again, you can now move it in any direction. You just move your hand up diagonally or if you want to do some nice circles here, you can do that as well. And that helps you to basically select any of these links. So if I want to play any of these videos here, I just go there right away, I click on it, and then the video fires up. So this takes a lot of pain out of using the BoxyBox browser. Just fire up the app, use it as your remote control, and your, uh, it's going to be much easier for you. Uh, stay tuned for more quick tips like this, for more full episodes from Cord Colors. Visit our website, gigom.com slash and keep watching the show.